guys, it's Lisa here from um, Lisa Press Studios. Hey, I'm I'm here with a new flip through that I like to do with my new and um, a new journal I just created here. And uh, this is my my latest little project that I've been working on, and I'm calling this um, Blue Beautiful Junk Journal. And this little beauty is uh, is made from a doily wrapped completely around it take a little tour here and i put some um really pretty blue i mean really pretty green um, um sort of fabric underneath this this lace doily and to make it look like i wanted the green to kind of show a little bit but not a lot in it and so here's the spine i think it's like a one and a half inch spine here's the front and i used um one of the kits that i used was from ruby and pearl and it's a beautiful kit, by the way. And it is a, it's called a um, French Blue. And um, just beautiful, beautiful kit that I got. And most of this is inspired by that um, that kit there. And so, um, but anyways, I, I got some little pearls I put here. And then I put some little lace here with a button. And I had some of these wooden, um, di different cutouts. And this one was like a rose cutout that I had. I decided that would look really nice on there. And then this was from the kit, from um, Ruby and Pearl kit. And then, there's an, of course, there's another button and this beautiful butterfly and this doily I put underneath it. And so, anyways, and then uh, for my tie, I just tied um, parts of this doily together and I just made a simple tie. Like that, comes undone like that. And it's just hooked on, on each end like that. And this is, this is really the... The bulk of it it's not it's not too too chunky or anything like that it's just just perfect perfect little size there and um so with that let's go ahead and open it up let's take a look inside of this thing okay here is the inside i'm making sure i'm on that i'm in here okay good so so part of the kit is a they had a um a, um collage she has some collage pa papers in here and i just took part of that collage paper and i cut it and i used it for the front and the back cover here and this i'm into a postcard which is an actual postcard and i thought that that lady was really pretty friends from the kit very beautiful i'll put that in, this, in there and then this is a little bit like a, a name plate where you could put something on and this is also a pocket here is some journaling cards for the kit and I back them with some lined paper. I made a little pocket here from this paper I've used, from this paper pad. Okay. And okay, this is an envelope that I made with a little pocket here out of some um, old book pages. And then I just tucked in some, some paper that I punched on the top with a beautiful lace um, decoration there. Put that back in there. Okay. And then I use a, a bulb clip. A bulb, I mean, a, um, a teardrop paper clip to put that on there. This is the second page. Okay, and this behind here has this little card. I double sided it. It's just a little, um, oh, you can use a bookmark or something like that if you like. And then this is a little mini pocket here. This here is a. Let me get out card here. This here is a belly band where you could put something in here. It slides down through there. Um, and then this is a tag I made. And I just put some book pages on the on the side of it and a zigzag zigzag stitch down there. Put those in there. It's from the kit. envelope that I put over the top of this page here. It's just a little beautiful envelope with some lined paper on the inside. Okay, and then um, this here opens up and it's a little um, a writing space and it's a pocket. Um, it's a postcard pocket or yeah tuck. Here's another uh, paper with that beautiful lace trim on the edge of it from my paper punch, 
paper trim, I guess you'd say. And then I'm gonna put this, and this just fits over the top of here. This is a pocket, and I cut out a bird that I glued on here, the front here, and I stitched this. Oh, most of the, if I haven't pointed it out, a lot of, some of the things are, are stitched and some aren't. They're just kind of hit or miss with what, whatever I decided to do. So here's a journaling card, and here's another journaling card. And this one, this postcard, I stitched around, so I'll put those in that pocket. Here is a, um, here is a flip a corner little booklet. It's on the corner. And on here I put a little um, uh, book page and like a little um, picture of a flower here. And I, 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 this is one of my attempts of putting um, some fabric on the edge to make a little opening. And so and here's a little tag here. And this also fits in here, right here, if you want there. <laughs> but I'm noticing that I need to glue this down a little more here. So I'm going to fix that before this goes out for sale. I made this little tag for my kit. And then I also added some little um, lace trim on the top of this page as well. The pages, um, some of these pages here I got from uh, my porch prints. And some other for my stash, some of the paper here. And this is a pocket, a double pocket actually. Here and here. So two cards. This is just a little um, card with some extra writing paper so with some tea dye paper on there. I just tucked that right in there. And then I, I took a little mini doily and put that on there. It's a like a, a pansy shape. And this is a, oh, a flip out. So this is, um, there's a no, um, pocket here. And I think it's just that pocket here put a little something in and of course there's a pocket to right here and I open it up and this is a little card I put in there it's in this little pocket that I made out of um, old book pages here's the other side of that and it's folded to where there's another little spot there and I put a little card from the kit in there a little part of that collage paper there's a pocket here I stitched and this is like a little trifold little thing that you can use to put things write your notes on this is another flower kind of card that I put in there with a little cute edge on it and that just fits in this little pocket there's two pockets here and this just fits in here and then this opens up again and here's a um, a tuck spot right here put things in and a writing spot right here <clears throat> so you can just do that I might even put this card in here actually and then um, and this is a tuck spot that I put some of my echo dye paper in which I'm gonna show how I made this one of these on one of these videos so I know it's, it's it was really fun to make and then this um, with some little um, scrunched up, scrunchy kind of ruffle that I put on here <clears throat> from um, a hair hair scrunchie that I tore apart. <laughs> I think I told you guys about that before. So that, this, for some reason, I didn't put anything on these pages. And I really think that the reason why I didn't was because there's so much stuff in here anyway, that when I finally got to where I was at on that, and looked at that I realized oh my goodness I have nothing else to put on here it doesn't make it too bulky I think so but I might and I may put some holders in here that you can put pictures in maybe and I might add that to that once I get um get this listed I'm I'm not sure that I'm still I'm still still trolling around in my mind about if I want to do it or not so I don't know so anyway here's this page and this is a, a matching um, tag with some a big tag actually with some matching um it matches the pocket the tag and the, the page match each other pretty good so put that there put this on with a put this lace on here and with a brad holding that down more tea dyed paper there's lined paper okay this is the tuck spot i left 
I left blank to put things in. And it tucks on this side here to put things in. And I put some lace up there for that. This is the center. It's just a beautiful picture sided and I stitched around it. And this is also part of the, um, the other side is part of, actually part of the signature. So this is part of that. And then this is another lovely pocket with a tag. And I, oh, I didn't finish that. This tag is from, it, actually this tag was actually a freebie from uh, Artie Mays. So if you guys ever get a chance to get over there, and go on her site, she has a ton of freebies. And so I just add the freebies. I just added this this butterfly um, tag because I thought it looked, it matched the journal pretty well. And I put it in there. And I'm going to just ink this, put this back in while I see it here. Okay, and that fits in there. Here's my pages, tea dye paper. The, the the pan that I put it on had an inter interesting bottom on it, and it made it kind of dotted. <clears throat> Here's another pocket tag. I put a whole reinforcer on there and, and some organza ribbon. Then this is upside down, but this is cute. And this is like this. It's, it actually opens up like this. And it's just a little, little place to do your notes, whatever. But since it was here, I, I put it upside down in this pocket so that it, this will show and it's not stuck in that pocket. So you got a pocket here, a here, here, and here. So you got a few there. Put that in there. And I did this beautiful edge. This is um, a pocket, a pocket here where this lady is, and then I did this little tag, and here's that. It's crooked. That really kind of bothers me, but you know what? It's okay. I might put some lace, another bit of lace right here. And that's that, and that fits in this pocket right here. And then this is a, oh, you know what I was going to do is put something here. Yeah, I was going to put this here. So this is a, a note card that's going on here. And then you take this off. This is the other side of that. It's an envelope. It's an envelope that you can put things in. And I just like put it over the edge of the page like this. And I used uh, this this uh, teardrop pink clip to hold it on. And then this, I'm going to ink this up later. And this, this goes in here, right here, this big tag. It's part of that. Oh, the botanical pages. I always try to add a few of those in there. It's interesting. This was one of those pages that I thought, oh no, I was I was almost done with the whole journal. And I looked around one more time and I went, oh no, I got this page I got to do. What can I do quickly? Because I wanted to... I wanted to finish this and I just was running out of ideas. I guess I had done so many other pages that I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna put a doily on it. Put a big doily on it, got some cards. Put the cards, th these are not inked, which they will be when I go to sell them. And I just put these cards in there. I thought it looked, looked good, so I left it as it is. So and here's another s center of the signature. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, there's three signatures in this. And I know I, <laughs> I never did say it, but there are three signatures. And this is the middle of the last signature. And I took another one of those. I took a little cluster right here and um, put a little bulb pin, bulb pin on here. So that maybe you could hang something on here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might even just come in and just put a tag in here hanging. I might do that. I'm not, I'm not sure yet what I want to do with this page. But I put that there. And this is a beautiful. I just love this page. I just love the blue. It's just so pretty. And I don't remember what kid I got this from. I got this from... A different kit. And then here is a belly band with a card and the little, the little fairy girl on the uh, writing on the butterfly. I just think that is so cute. So I, and I put that in there for the belly band. The botanical page. Here is a just a big pocket to put things in. I thought that was cute. Put that on there. Here is um, just part of the some wallpaper that I cut out 
put it in here it was part of the um part of the kit and like this wallpaper kind of um page and i thought and i cut this out of it and i thought this would look really pretty with you know just put a card in there It'd be really pretty and then here is the very last page it's just like the front and here is a, a postcard that i put together here and i have the kit and so that is it and i had a blast making this this was just so fun making this beautiful beautiful journal and i'm gonna try to tie it here back oh, i'm gonna turn it here i think it's easier for me to turn it okay and then um this is this is gonna be in my etsy shop probably ooh, today or tomorrow sometime very soon for sale and anyways i hope you guys like that give me a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe thank you for all my subscribers you guys are just awesome and i just thank you guys so much for that and i just appreciate you guys looking at my journal today i i had so much fun making it and bringing it to you guys and um so let me know and i will see you guys later with an with another video okay thanks bye